wasn't even taking a chance with that, with it going past an hour, because I'll be able to edit those these two pieces separately and then put them all together, hopefully, and then that will be the video. Okay, I signed up again for the Needle Minder of the Month from Down Sunshine Lane. I love Needle Minders. I'm not sure why I tried to think I could cancel it. This was the one for February. I love it. An envelope with hearts coming out of it. And she sent a little note. says, welcome back. Wait until you see the Needle Minder for April. Ooh, can't wait. Can't wait, can't wait. And I got my order from Gina's Unique Needle Minders. I finally got one of the Sugar Skull Clay Mermaids. Love that one. The letter D. And then this creepy little woman. Yeah. Okay. Fabric. Oh, where did I put that? Oh, yeah. Told you, I got all three of my fabric orders in the mail. Look at that. Okay, well, first, I did get an order from Color Cascade Fabrics, and in it, she sent a free needle minder of her emblem. I like it. I don't have that, so, yeah. Got that. Now, before I show the fabric, Stitching Fleur. She's back. So glad because, man, she has some awesome stitching stuff. But she was stitching uh, Ching Chow Kook. I don't know how to pronounce that. The black rose. It's all in black. I had to buy it. I think I'll actually stitch this. One color. Black. Love that. So I bought that. And I bought it on the day last Saturday where it was... Uh, the day to buy a Hade at full price to support the designer or the owner. So I was glad to do that. Okay, so I got an order in from Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. And I ordered some 28 count Joblin this time instead of 28, uh, 32 count. Because the dye seems to take darker on 28 count Joblin. So this first piece I got was Daybreak. Love that. Look at that. Oh my god. That bright pink in the center of that. I also got... Twixt and Tween, which totally love this. Good Halloween fairy or something should go on that. I'm not sure what, though. But love that. These got all mixed up somehow. I don't know how. Hocus Pocus. Nice purpley fabric. April Showers. Love that one. Pink screens. This one is Bliss, a nice light pink. <gasps> Ooh, I could stitch that um, that Be My Honey one on this from Nashville. Just found that fabric, huh? And this is one of my favorite ones, Seahorse Shores. Look at how beautiful that is, those greens and blues. Love that. Uh, Melody, which I had stitched... See, I hate that dye spot right in the center, so I'm hoping I can cover that up. Um, I had stitched the, uh, it's it, Woodlawn. The one, the autumn piece, the Oodles of Autumn, I stitched on that. That's a nice neutral. I think that was all from Stephanie. The rest of these are from, oh no. Yeah, somehow these got all mixed up, and I don't know how. Okay. Harvest Pumpkin. I don't know my facts my fascination with orange fabric. That is friggin' bright. That that is actually showing up a lot brighter on camera than it is in real life. It is bright, but that's that's bright. Yeah. And Bridget. Which I originally was gonna stitch the Henry VIII and his wives on this, but then I saw that other fabric and I was like, eh, I'm gonna stitch it on that. Okay. I also got I think my last fabric of the month from Crafty Kitten. And I had ordered the thread. I don't think I have any more outstanding with her. I don't know. But this is pretty. A nice, like, pinky purple. There's no name on it. She doesn't name the um, fabric of the month. But I got my fabrics from Under the Sea Fabrics. These are all 32 count Joblin. This is Khaleesi. I really like this. I don't know what to stitch on it, but yeah. Oranges and pinks. Again, with the orange. Keone? Keone? This is a pretty nice neutral purple. Like that. Sometimes you like a, you know, not so crazy cuckoo fabric. This is As You Wish. I really like this. Like a bluey green. 
And then the last one I got from her is Lapis. Oh, there is another fabric from Stephanie that got mixed in here, Samantha, I got. Now, the only other fabric I have on order is a piece of that Jello Shots from Stephanie for the Prairie Moons Red and the Black 1. Because, man, that fabric, that's going to look awesome. And then my last fabric order I got was from Color Cascade Fabrics. I got 32 count Jovelin, but I also got some linen. <coughs> but I belong to her Fabric of the Month Club, and this is um, for January. This is like a really cool fabric. Like, I, lo I love that. Looks like a sky, kind of. Something all in black would look good on that. <coughs> I don't think it's big enough for... No, it's not. I don't need a big piece for that black rose. <gasps> oh, my God. I think I just found the fabric I'm going to stitch it on, though. Okay, I had ordered a fat half of 32 Count Belfast in Blue Ocean. Now, originally, I was going to stitch Big Harry Potter on this. Because look how big that is. That's giant. Huge. Let me, like, tear that. That was the tag. Um, yeah, this is a giant piece of fabric. Now, look at that. It's covering my face. I was going to stitch the Big Harry Potter. I don't think I'm going to stitch Big Harry Potter. I could either stitch this on it, because this will be that large. That would look pretty on that, I think. Although roses, I'd probably like to stitch something pink, right? Pink and peach. But I was thinking of stitching Ink Circle's Garden Stars on here. Something big has to go on this, obviously. You know, I'm tempted to change my fabric of the month to a fat half, because so many of these projects are giant. So I got that. But then the rest I got were just normal sizes. This is Autumn Carnival, and this is Jobelin. That's cute. Again, orange. I'm not sure where that fixation's coming from. This is called Blue Ocean Floor. Love that one. Nice turquoise fabric. This is Raspberry Swirl. This would also work for that Be My Honey, because this is a nice pink. Or I could stitch the... um. The other one, the uh, uh, You and Me one, the small one. And I also have some, uh, I ordered the Lovebirds from Country Cottage Needleworks. That would look good on here because it's got pink in that too. And then this is Linen Fairy Tale. So like a, a, like a white, pinky. Yeah, I've got a lot of fabric people and a lot of stitching to do. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about. Well, first I ordered... I told you I ordered some eyebrow stencils in case I lose my eyebrows. Yeah. And with it, they sent this magnet, which I totally love this. It says, feed your faith and your fears will starve to death. So true. I got the latest Just Cross Stitch magazine in the mail, and I thought I would do a flip through. I get the digital version also, so I already glanced at that, but I really like the paper copy. Okay, this first one, this is not my taste, but some of you may like it. Spring Chickadees Pillow. It's kind of cute. But yeah, I won't stitch that. I'm trying to flip through it real quick. This one's kind of cool. Good Luck Always. It's like a Celtic, Celtic theme. Yeah. My fingers are not. This one I really like. I think I will I might stitch this one. Who's this by? Oh, it's by the Primitive Hair. That's awesome. This one is called Believe in Dreams. <gasps> you know what this would look... Oh, my God. You know, this would look awesome on this fabric. Where is it? Where is it? Ah! Oh, my God. I think I found the pattern for it. Look. Yeah. This would calls for... Yeah. This is going to be stitched on that. Uh-huh. Oh, Yes. Oh, yes, it is. I'll need to make a note of that. Oh, plus there was, I can't show the pattern, but Luck of the Irish, this small little thing. That's cute. Oh, yes. That will be awesome on that. Love that. <coughs> Still getting over that damn cold. Okay. Here's another one. Um, 
Ireland sampler. That's not bad. I don't think I would stitch that, but kind of cute. I like that white there. Stitching white on white does not appeal to me, though. I don't think it appeals to any of you either, does it? Ooh, I like these. Okay, here's a little pin cushion. Let me try to cover the... That's cute. And then these I really like. They had done the love... This is by Needle Bling Design, so we know who that is. Look at these. Lucky, like that, and then Hunt for Easter. Those are cool. I like those. I have a dream, people. I've had a dream for a while, and I've never put it to fruition. If you guys have ever seen the... Uh, the big wood cubby thing that Diane from Little House Needleworks got from Pottery Barn. It's like you can fit, it, I think it has like 25 squares and you hang it on your wall, but you can fit like little stitchings in it and she has it. I've always wanted to buy it. It's like $120, I think. I want, always wanted to get that and stitch a bunch of small stuff and put it in there. I think it would look so awesome, but I've never done that. I always say, oh, I'm going to ask for that for my birthday and I never do. But wouldn't it be cool? Yeah. Here's a Lavender Cantara by Liz Almond. This is pretty. I like that. This is nice, too. A beaded cross. Is this all beads? No. It's got a lot of beads, though. That's cool. It's purple. I like that. So far, I'll just be stitching that little, like, horsey thing. Here's an Easter morn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting to get my first issue of World of Cross Stitching. I think that's what I was. I've subscribed to um, a British magazine in the mail. And I'm looking forward to getting that. I haven't gotten it yet. This one. Now, this one's cute for all you cat lovers. Felines in lines. I like that. Now, they make a note here. I know a lot of you are upset about the color charts in the magazine. You can go download the black and white charts on their website. They have a code here that you can put in so you can get access to it. So you'll still be able to do that. Now, this one I really liked. I don't know if I would stitch it. It is by Marie Barber and it's called Vintage Glassware. This is really cool, though. Look at all that. That's very colorful and pretty. I like that. Yeah. Almost through the whole thing. Italian bird tiles. These are kind of cool. Uh-huh. Who do they buy? I don't know. Elizabeth Spurlock. This is cool. A Sus Susanna Rambo 1836 sampler part two. So this must have been... The first part must have been in the previous issue. That's cool. Reminds me kind of like Rosewood Manor. I know you guys love those samplers. I'm trying to go fast. Oh, I love this. Okay, this one I think I'll definitely be stitching. This is by Kathy Bungard of Gracewood Stitches. It's called Tussie Mussy. <laughs> Look at that, though. Don't you just love that? These one color or two color pieces really appeal to me lately. I love that. Love it. And you can switch out the colors to whatever you want to do. You don't have to do it in that color. Yeah, I love that. So two definites from here. Oh, my fingers. Here's a 1867 reproduction sampler. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And that might be it. My fingers are getting caught on the pages. Oh no, oh this is so cute. These are so, so cute. I have to get a piece of paper to cover this though. Because the pattern's on the bottom of it. These are called Ho 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 ornaments. And they say these would be a great beginner's project. Oh, that's cool. Okay, see the, the O, you put a big button in the middle of it. But they're cool, aren't they? I like that. You can even fill in that O with stitching. You don't have to put a button. Where did they say to get the buttons from? Because you got to have like... 
or you could just have it open. You don't have to stitch a button on it. Where do they say to get the buttons? It just says, oh, it tells you the size, three one and a half inch buttons. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that was it, <clears throat> I think. Yeah, that was it. Very cool. That was a pretty good issue. So that's it. This video is over an hour because this is 15 minutes right here. And the other one was 42 minutes. It would have been 57 minutes. It would have been so close. And by the time I insert all the pictures and stuff, yeah, it would have been over an hour. So I hope you enjoyed all of this. Um, I will not be two weeks <laughs> filming between videos anymore. So I hope you guys all have a great week. Remember, comment with uh, your favorite Nashville release to be entered for a $50 gift certificate to Down Sunshine Lane. Three lucky people will get one. So until next time, happy stitching, happy stashing.